Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am crafting with the Country Road Collection by Annie Williams. This actually released just last month so it is a relatively new collection and there are some really fun die sets in um in this series and the ones I chose to work with I feel like uh, are great all year round and I actually think the entire collection is great all year round but I chose some that I feel are really fabulous just because of how diverse they are. This first one here is the wheel um, country wheelbarrow which I think is really fun. I don't have anything like this and it's so great to have this cart, the, um, the wheelbarrow, the cart, the wheel, all of it in separate pieces so that you can um, really layer it up, get a lot of detail in there. But as you can kind of see in the packaging, you can fill that cart with a lot of different things. And I'll show you kind of um, the set that I chose to fill it with, but there's also the garden builder, which I don't have. And that has a lot of really beautiful flowers, foliage, and so you can fill the cart with flowers if you wanted. Um, later, a sheet that I have, it's I have selected the seasonal decor set, which just has a lot, a lot of elements that are great for filling up this uh, cart on the wheelbarrow, but also fabulous for things like um, maybe filling up a the trunk of the Sunday drive car or the truck bed, um, you could do that as well. Now all of the detail on this wheelbarrow is just amazing. The wheel itself has, I think, um, four elements that you can kind of layer up to give it dimension and detailing. And there's even a thin piece that you can attach to the cart thread through the center of your wheel and attach to the other end of your cart so that the wheel is actually actually um, attached to the cart and can actually spin on that little piece. It's really, really amazing. Um, but why I feel like it's great that they chose uh, that method of assembly is because then you can actually tilt and rotate the wheel the way that you want in order to position the cart how you'd like to see it on your card. So I'm working on a USA 2 size card and to attach this uh, front side panel of the wheelbarrow, I'm only attaching it by the bottom edge and the uh, right hand edge. That way as I tuck things into the cart, it can slot in behind it. And um, there's also the back piece of the, uh, or the other side piece to the cart as well. Because if you wanted, you could um, just partially fill the cart. You could leave it an empty cart and it would still look um, whole. And so here, what I'm trying to figure out is how do I position it to make this cart uh, look like it makes sense. And that's why I, that's how I mean that the, um, having the wheel be able to rotate and, and, um, and move gives you that freedom and flexibility because I've chosen to make it try to appear as if the wheel is on the ground, but the cart has actually been lifted. And with that, with that, more angled look, it actually feels on uh, like it fits a little bit better on my portrait oriented <laughs> card front here. And I wanted to get that positioning the way that I wanted and then uh, glue the wheel so that my wheelbarrow itself uh, starts to have fewer and fewer <laughs> kind of moving pieces. So um, so really great that you have that option because you could also adjust the wheel and the cart so that it looks like the cart is sitting on the ground with the wheel as well. Now from the seasonal decor set, I am working with the gift box, which I think is very general purpose. You could use this for wedding gifts, um, birthday cards, 
anniversary cards, any gift giving holiday really. And uh, I chose some papers from Santa Lane because I just recently crafted with the uh, some Santa Lane papers and it's <laughs> still sitting on my desk. So I pulled it out for this card as well and thought that I would make a holiday card. But if you look at the seasonal decor set, you have a lot of different elements here. There's lots of different pumpkin varieties. So you've got four different pumpkin slash squash um, gourds, you know, in that sort of uh, family for the fall. There are some summery uh, sort of fruits and veggies. So we have tomato, bell peppers, chili pepper, carrot. Carrot would also be great for Easter themed cards because there's also an Easter egg. There's your uh, clover, great for um, St. Patrick's Day. There's a heart and then um, another heart dyed that goes along with it that has a more um, patchwork uh, look to it. So great for paper piecing. And we have the... Um, some wood logs, which would be great for maybe winter as well. And then there's a a sort of faceted star. So you have the star, but then you also have an additional die that you can cut out and um, kind of layer on top of it to really uh, enhance the, the faceted look. You could think about uh, die cutting the, the um, just the faceted portion in different uh, colors. Uh, to create a little bit of a highlight and a shadow. So really, really awesome. And then this Stampin' Die set I really love. Again, another one that's great for all year long crafting because it has a lot of sentiments and some of the um, iconography, the graphics included in the stamps actually um, uh, mimic a little bit the seasonal decor uh, die set because there are things like the pumpkin, the heart has some nice stitched border detail, and um, you know the star element is has the same detail as that faceted star die. So really great for mixing and matching between these sets. You, you're going to see a lot of that um, iconography that you can kind of uh, bring into it. And on the welcome signboard itself, that signboard is large enough to accommodate, um, I think, all of the sentiments. And uh, in some cases, it's large enough to fit some of the um, images in addition to a stamp sentiment. So originally I was going to use the phrase um, holiday cheer and there is a stamp that has some um, holly uh, leaves and berries and I just stamped that out for some uh, extra accent on the bottom of the of the sign and my my thought was and the reason why holiday cheer is stamped so high up is that I was just gonna tuck this sign into the cart uh, right behind the um, right behind the presents but I, I, for some reason, wasn't sure I liked the look of that, and ultimately I didn't use the, the welcome, the actual signboard itself. Um, instead, I decided to just stamp holiday cheer straight onto the card. But in the welcome sign and sentiment, you get um, this really, really lovely, again, lots of detail for to create a um, welcome sign, one of the ones that has sort of a wooden... Um, post that goes right into the ground and then it has a um, the sign that can hang off of it and there's lots of filigree detailing for the um, the top of that wood post and then as well there's sort of that oval um, curved section that as, that's at the top of the signboard and there are a lot of different dies that you can use to decorate that as well. So I'm definitely going to be crafting with this collection again because there's just so much to um, to play with here. And there's a close-up look at that wheelbarrow. Look at all of that detail. I'm really impressed by the wheel. To, uh, that's, the, that's the part that really um, struck me the most in terms of all the different layers and how it was constructed, but I love everything and I love how versatile this 
entire collection is for all year round crafting. If you are interested in any of the products that I use today, I'll leave links to everything in the description box below. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.